And then all you do is just unscrew that slightly and lift it up. So you lift it up, so you want it pretty much at a right angle and then just tighten that like that. And it's not even one full turn. And then do the same for the other side. Try and line it up so it's at a right angle, like that. That's about right. Okay, now these are so sturdy, you can lift the booth up with them. I've pre wired my bar so it's daisy, cha daisy chain for power and for DMX. And then all you do. lift it up put it on and then that's on and then I just run um, a long power cord from the first one wrap it down there and through there watch my homies uh, DJ 80 here um, this is going to be a very quick video and I'm going to show you how to make um, a custom overhead bar, overhead lighting bar um, for your DJ booth for the um, Gorilla DBS Light, Equinox and Bonix is also a brand but they all make the same booth. Um, I've got to be really quick because um, I put it up for sale yesterday um, within a couple of hours the booth sold. Um, but I had afterwards, I've had lots of people messaging me, asking me, how, how did you do the overhead kit? So the guy is coming in about half an hour. Um, so I'm going to quickly, uh, whiz through it for you. Um, I'll tell you now, um, it, it costs about 150 quid to make. Um, if you do it yourself, you're going to need a hammer. Um, you're going to need a drill, um, and a little file as well to, to file off the edges and so forth. But if you want to know how it's done. I'm going to try and do it all now um, in, in a few short clips. Right, so this is the booth and this is the overhead kit that I've done. So uh, the main component that you'll need is two of these brackets and these are called uh, Nua brackets or Niwa and they're brought from Amazon and they're £69 each and the, uh, the picture for them is here. So um, <clears throat> what you need to do is you need to buy two of the brackets and then when you get them, you'll have um, an extra spare pole to start off with, which you can just discard. And then you'll have the main bracket here and there'll be um, another pole coming up here and it's a plastic uh, flare, uh, plastic, um, it's like one of these on the top here and there's another pole that comes out of it now i removed that pole because it was going to make it too tall um, and it doesn't just slide out so the pole that comes in here if you want to remove it um, you're going to need to hammer around the edges of the pole to pull it out once you've done that you've then got your bracket and it's all made it's all ready the next thing you need to do is mount your bracket onto your booth. Okay, because the bar's got to go across and you don't want it to be crooked, you need to measure the distance of this bracket from the end. So you need to be quite precise with this. So I went for seven centimeters and seven centimeters this end as well for this one. Okay, so the reason I haven't mounted them at the end or right at the front was because I kind of wanted the weight distributed um, along the center of the booth and not at one end or the other so it doesn't tip. So once you've measured your mark you put a line just here in pen and then you put your bracket on top. So the bracket already has two pre-drilled holes in it one here and one here. So you get your pen, you've marked it here, so you've got the end of your bracket, and then with your pen, you draw a circle here, 
and a circle there. So then you put the bracket to the side and then you need to drill through the actual booth. <clears throat> so make sure that the hole that you drill is centre. So you've already marked it, but you might find that it might be slightly that way or that way. But as long as you know where the, where the actual spot is, you centre your drill. Um, now the guy to buy it should stand up. Um, you centre your drill and then um, you draw your holes in your frame. And as you can see, once you've done that, you put them on and you put your bolts on. I've got two here and I've got a washer as well. And that holds that in place. And then you do the same for that one. And then to do the overhead bar, I've used a piece of square metal tubing. And I've measured out lots of mounting holes, as you can see. And they're all equally spaced apart. Let's see how far I went with mine. But obviously you can put as many holes in as you want. 20 centimetres I went. So you drill the holes in that first. Okay, and the very last thing you do after that is I bought these, which I think were table legs. I can't remember exactly. <clears throat> and then um, they already come with a hole, hole pre-drilled in them. And then you run a bolt. bolt through them and I actually had a light mounted to that and it held it in tight and then that quite simply slip, slots in like that and then the other one slots in like that uh, and I'm sorry to be ever so quick with that I just Just quickly tell you the measurement there. And the, measure, uh, the, the diameter for that is one and a, one and a quarter inch. Right, I'm ever so sorry that was a quick video. But you'll need, basically you need to buy two of these brackets, a length of this bar, and two of these uh, tops to slot in. There might be a quicker way of doing it. There might be a cheaper way of doing it as well. Um, it's these brackets that cost the most. Um, but yeah, that's how you build the overhead bar. All right, guys, I'm really sorry that was quick. Um, the guys just turned up here to, to buy the booth. Um, so, um, yep, if you have any questions, give me a shout and I'll try and answer them in the comments. But thanks very much for watching. I've been DJ80 and I'll see you next time.